All right, so we're taking a look at Giz AI, and that is a, a kind of a funny name right there. But uh, I'm going to say Giz dot AI and it's an AI that is for news and basically what you're able to do is come over here and put in a keyword uh, put in your niche and then you can actually select news from the last three days seven days 30 days uh, and then you can come over here and you can select your sources Google News YouTube you can even select Reddit you can select your um, output language it looks like they have American English and English right now and you can select between Gemini ChatGPT and Claude and I have already ran a query before this and it is actually using Claude Sonnet. And right now I'm not seeing any paywalls. There's no place to sign up and pay. They do have traffic coming to their site right now and I'm not seeing any place that you can actually sign up and pay. So not really sure how that part works, but we can go, it's just beta and testing. They're probably spending money on this in order to test that out. I should go and probably sign up an account real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, perfect. So you go through the sign up process and then this is what ends up happening right over here. You have all kinds of um, items on the left. That's way too much to go over. But basically it will tell you in this four minute video, you'll get a quick overview of Giz's features. So I did run a query earlier and basically if you're asking AI right here, you're going to basically ask AI SEO and then it's going to go out there. Here's a magazine style summary of the key SEO news and content from the provided sources formatted as requested. So July 2024, you can see we have Nathan Gotch right over here and it's talking about all that. Uh, it also has a YouTube uh, video that you can go and watch. So it's doing some good research for us. We have Neil Patel introduces the concept of search everywhere optimization in a brief 40 second um, video emphasizing the need for SEO strategy. So if you're running some type of newsletter or running a YouTube channel or running a news website or something like that, this tool definitely could be a tool for you to go out there and do this research for us. Obviously, it's doing real time searches over the web in order to get this information. We have enhancing SEO practices for business growth. So you can cater it to business right here, managing SEO campaigns during economic downturns. You've got all these different people that are being mentioned right here. AI and SEO, Google's John Mueller or Mueller advises against using LLMs for SEO advice. Boom, right over there. Like we can trust anything that comes out of their mouth at this point. It gives the source right there as well. So you can actually click on this right here. It's going to open up into where the article was actually written and where the news was, you know, this reporter right over here and so forth, what they're actually writing about. Pretty cool stuff. And we can just keep scrolling. So it gave us a ton of information. You could actually go and maybe tell it to do more information. There's Julian Goldie, it's picking up right there and so forth. So a uh, bunch of different stuff, career opportunities, the latest jobs in search marketing. You can go to search land right over here as well. So that's kind of how you, the basic way to use the tool is you're going to go and just use Ask AI and then maybe use the chat feature right here. You can search for vitamin B papers and report, write AI stock investment report, AI startup ideas. Let's click on that and see what ends up happening. So as you can see, we're still using, oh, in this case, it's actually using Gemini right here. It's going to say, okay, let's brainstorm some AI startup ideas. I'm thinking something that addresses a real need. So we have AI powered personal finance assistant, and then we have, so it gave us one right there that we could just do it again, again, and it's going to give us more information. We can ch chat with it. Give me another one. So at the end of the day, okay, so continue using unlimited free image and video generation, continue instantly with, with email right there. Let me go and sign up real quick. I already signed up. I thought I was already signed in. I was already signed in. I'm not sure why it did that. But then we can come over here, AI story. So click on that, create a cyberpunk story book, generate nature documentaries, generate a dance video, generate profile images in majestic nature. So historic time travel guide, underwater virtual tour guide, extraterrestrial virtual tour guy. So it's going to write some stories for us. We have our, here's that AI news search right over here. So we can come over here and look, let's just go do one on Donald Trump um, and see what ends up happening. AI news search. This is going to be interesting. Not going to really go over too much of it. And you can see right over here, I'm not going to mention any of this because this could, you know, impact my video. So I'm not going to say anything in this video right here, but you can see all the latest stuff that's going on right over here. AI blog writer. So I know that you guys would maybe be interested in this. So we have the AI blog writer. I do want to come over here and see if 
We can control the output. So word length, we can actually control. So let's say 1200 words right there, English. I think that's all it's gonna write in anyways. News, search, all time. And then right over here, I wanna change this. So we gotta go over here, change to Claude version three Sonnet. SEO keywords you can actually put in right there as well. That's really cool. AI blog writer. So we would have to go and maybe, let's see if I could actually upload like a documentation or something. Well, let's just say write an S SEO blog post about the best AI writer on the market in 2024. Push enter. Let's just see what ends up happening. We're just doing testing, guys. Obviously, this is not going to, you're not going to go and post this. The ultimate guide to AI writing tools for SEO. We got the rise of AI content generation in the ever evolving landscape of digital marketing. So that one is definitely, you know, it's it's not going to be optimized in any kind of brand voice or anything like that. So you wouldn't really want to use this unless we could get to a point where we can actually upload our knowledge base to this, right? And it's just kind of giving us a, I mean, it actually is, it's got right Sonic. It's got uh phrase. It's got, yeah, Jasper AI. So that's just an old content. Those are uh, copy AI scale net. Yeah. So those are definitely not the front runners with AI content writing anymore. They were a couple of years ago. They're definitely not now. How many words did it give us though? It did write a pretty decent article. I will say that go and check this out real quick guys. So it did write a thousand word article. So it did meet the uh, requirements that we wanted, but I'm not seeing any customizations other than right over here and you know, the SEO keywords and that's about it. Now they need to uh, be able to add, if we could add a document that has all our, all of our uh, brand voice, our, you know, about page or like our, you know, just more knowledge base, then it would write and we could give it specific instructions probably could do a little bit better. You would definitely would need to use your custom prompting over here and so forth. But I'm, I'm still kind of blown away that they're giving us all this content right now for free. You know, this is just beta. This is probably going to be a pretty big tool. You can already tell. And they're going to have to, once they get users all signed up and using it, then they're going to do that thing where they probably switch it to, you know, start cutting people off and where you have to, you know, pay for the tool. But right now you can head over there to a giz.ai and, and check it out. AI image morning in a dense forest, just click on it. I like how they have prompts ready for us. You can just click on it. So you don't have to think about what you want. You can just literally click on those and it's going to, you know, tell us, give us some images and it gives us a nice image right there. You can go over to AI image. You can go and maybe do some settings over here. You can change the width and the height. You can change different lighting and the checkpoint. You can change to different AI tools as well. You've got your model right here and they do have some stable of diffusion and they have a lot of stuff in here. So there's a lot of customization that you can do with this tool. I'm not going to lie. You could pretty much probably get almost everything you need done. This is an all in one AI tool. It's not just an AI writer. It, you know, I really like the AI news search. I think that could be useful for a lot of different uh, purposes. And then you just kind of keep scrolling down. You got AI audio right over here. Let's see, let's go with a carnival and see what it's going to pr produce for us produced an AI audio for us right there. And you can go and download that. That's pretty sweet. An AI video underwater coral reef. We'll click on that and check that out as well. Remember all the fine tuning and settings are actually over here under this uh, arrow over here. I think they should make that a little bit more apparent, maybe make that green or make it just a little bit bigger, maybe an arrow to it, just make it pop a little bit more. But most people using a tool like this, you know, the UI is fine. It's clean and everything, but it's, it's not, it's not a, the, the most intuitive or most user friendly. It's a little bit more on the techie side where you have to kind of find and explore a little bit, but it did create this video right here for us inside the tool. We're getting all of this right now for free. That is pretty sick. AI fast video, mysterious forest path, snowy mountain hike. We'll go ahead and look at this one as well. And then look at this, we've got an AI. Now this one was supposed to be a bike, I think, but a trekker making their way up a snow cover. So it, it created a prompt for us right over here, but that's actually pretty cool. And then AI game right over here. You can start, I guess just for start, it's gonna go and you're gonna describe what kind of game you want to create. I'm not gonna go down that path right now. You're gonna go with transcription, upload your audio file. I'm not seeing that you can upload a video yet, but you can upload an audio file or you can record and then it'll transcribe for you. You do have a drive 
right here that you can store stuff on. You have your team drives shared, you have bookmarks and getting started guide. So overall, I mean, you're gonna spend all your time right in here. I think this is a tool that uh, is definitely, you can tell that it is, it is built with some financial backing. They're probably gonna, you know, they're gonna be bringing this out. It just came out. I've never heard of it before. I found it on one of the AI tool databases as a brand new tool that just hit the market. So I thought I'd just make a quick video for you guys. This is an, you know, all around and an all in one type tool. And if you want to get right now, access to Claude Sonnet 3 without paying or ChatGPT 4.0 without paying, go do some exploring in here, then this is the time to go and check this software out. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.